For decades, China watched as Boeing and Airbus ruled the skies, while its own fast-growing aviation market relied on foreign-built planes. This dependency was more than commerce, it was a gap in technological sovereignty. Beijing launched the C919 project, aiming to challenge the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 and to anchor its Made in China 2025 strategy. The C919 became a symbol of national ambition, with state-owned Comac leading the charge and Chinese airlines placing large orders. The first commercial flight in May 2023 was a moment of pride, but the reality was more complex. While the airframe was Chinese, many critical systems, engines, avionics, flight controls, came from Western suppliers. This international collaboration was necessary, but it left the C919 vulnerable to foreign technology and politics. Assembling the C919 was an international puzzle. Comac built the structure, but nearly 50 key suppliers were American, and two dozen more were European. Only a handful of core systems were Chinese. The most crucial dependency, the Leap 1C engine, made by a GE Safran joint venture. This engine, also used by Boeing and Airbus, gave the C919 instant credibility, but at a cost. Avionics, landing gear, and flight controls also came from Western firms. This strategy sped up development but left the program exposed to geopolitics. As US-China tensions rose, the C919's reliance on Western tech became a strategic liability. The plane was a symbol of ambition, but also of vulnerability. The foundation of the C919, global cooperation, was about to be tested. In May 2025, the United States made a dramatic move by suspending export licenses for GE's Leap 1C engines to China, citing growing national security concerns and fears of advanced technology transfer. This decision was not made lightly, as these engines are a critical component for China's ambitious commercial aviation projects, especially the C919 jetliner. The announcement sent shockwaves through the global aviation industry, instantly threatening to ground the C919 and bring its production to a standstill. Factories that once buzzed with activity suddenly fell silent, and workers faced an uncertain future. This ban was just one part of a much broader U.S. strategy aimed at slowing China's rapid rise in high-tech sectors, from aerospace to semiconductors. The message was clear. Access to cutting-edge American technology could no longer be taken for granted. With no immediate alternative suppliers for these sophisticated engines, Comac's assembly lines ground to a halt. The ripple effects were felt across the entire Chinese aviation supply chain. The ARJ-21 regional jet, another flagship project that also relied on GE engines, was hit hard as well. Production delays and uncertainty loomed over both programs. For China, the ban confirmed its worst fears, that its reliance on Western technology could be weaponized overnight, turning years of progress into sudden vulnerability. Airlines across China faced deep uncertainty, with fleets at risk of being grounded and the future of the C919 project hanging in the balance. The entire industry was forced to reconsider its plans. The crisis forced Beijing to confront a hard truth. True technological power meant breaking free from foreign dependencies, no matter how difficult or costly that path might be. The dream of a homegrown world-class jetliner was suddenly at risk of slipping away, threatening to turn years of effort into a costly nightmare. In response, China doubled down, accelerating efforts to design and build its own advanced jet engines, determined to achieve self-reliance in aviation technology, no matter the cost or the challenges ahead. The U.S. engine ban hit Comac's Shanghai plant hard, sending shockwaves through China's ambitious aviation program. Overnight, the factory floor, once buzzing with activity, fell eerily quiet as critical components stopped arriving. Engineers and workers who had been racing to meet aggressive production goals suddenly found themselves at a standstill, facing an uncertain future. Ambitious delivery targets for 2025 collapsed, only seven C919s were delivered, far short of plans. The assembly lines, designed for rapid output, now moved at a crawl, with jets sitting idle for weeks as teams scrambled for solutions. Airlines like Air China and China Eastern scrambled to adjust, relying longer on Boeing and Airbus fleets. 
Their hopes of quickly modernizing with homegrown jets were dashed, forcing them to renegotiate contracts and delay expansion plans. The engine shortage exposed the limits of domestic manufacturing. Despite years of investment, China's aviation sector still depended on foreign technology for its most vital parts. With just 20 C919s in service, the program's vulnerability was on full display. The dream of a Chinese-made jet dominating the skies seemed more distant than ever. The crisis was a wake-up call. Assembling planes in China wasn't enough. True independence required mastering every link in the supply chain, especially the most complex ones. Beijing realized that true self-reliance was urgent, not optional. The government quickly mobilized resources, calling for a national push to close the technology gap. The slowdown became a matter of national pride and strategic security. Engineers and workers took on a new sense of mission, determined to prove China could stand on its own. The risk of foreign sanctions was no longer theoretical, it was painfully real. Every grounded jet was a reminder of the stakes involved. The experience galvanized China's resolve to master core technologies. Research teams redoubled their efforts, working around the clock to develop homegrown solutions. The next step, build a world-class jet engine at home. Only then could China truly control its aviation destiny and protect its industry from future shocks. The future of the C919 depended on it, and so did the future of China's place in global aviation. The U.S. ban turned China's long-term engine project, the CJ-1000A, into a national emergency. The Aero Engine Corporation of China, AECC, was tasked with building a domestic rival to the Leap 1C. The CJ-1000A became a patriotic mission, with massive government investment and political backing. The goal matched the performance and reliability of the world's best engines, and retrofitted onto the C919. Success would mean breaking into an elite club, failure would leave China exposed. Development timelines were slashed, and the country's top engineers mobilized. The CJ-1000A was designed to fit the C919 with minimal changes. The project was now a race against time, and a test of China's technological resolve. The U.S. attempt to ground the C919 had ignited a new era of self-reliance. The stakes had never been higher. Building a modern jet engine is one of engineering's toughest feats, Turbine blades face temperatures above their melting point, spinning at incredible speeds for thousands of hours. Only a few Western firms have mastered this after decades of research and billions in investment. China's challenge replicate this expertise in record time. It's not just design. Mastering metallurgy, manufacturing and software is essential. By late 2025, AECC had built and tested several CJ-1000A prototypes, proving the basic design. But matching Western engines' efficiency, durability, and safety remains a colossal hurdle. The CJ-1000A's journey from prototype to airliner is long and rigorous. Ground tests ran engines for hundreds of hours, collecting vital data on performance and reliability. Next came flight tests using a modified Xi'an Y-20 transport plane as a flying test bed. Engineers evaluated the engine's behavior in real-world conditions, fine-tuning software and hardware. Each flight was a carefully planned experiment, building confidence in the engine's reliability. The ultimate goal certification by China's aviation authority, a process that can take years. As of late 2025, the CJ-1000A was still in testing, not yet ready for commercial use. The path to powering a C919 full of passengers remained long and uncertain. In July 2025, after months of tense negotiations and mounting pressure from both industry and international partners, the U.S. quietly allowed GE to resume Leap 1C engine shipments to China. The decision was not announced with fanfare, but its significance was immediately felt across the global aviation sector. The move, part of broader trade negotiations between Washington and Beijing, gave COMAC's ambitious C919 program a much-needed lifeline. For months, the future of China's first homegrown passenger jet had hung in the balance, with production lines stalled and uncertainty clouding the project's prospects. Meanwhile, China's own countermeasures, like rare earth export restrictions, reminded the world that supply chains run both ways. These minerals are essential for everything from smartphones to fighter jets, and Beijing's willingness to weaponize them sent a clear message to global markets.
the reversal of the engine ban allowed C919 production to ramp up again, with workers returning to the assembly lines and aircraft rolling out of factories, yet the damage from the suspension was already done, and the sense of vulnerability lingered. The five-month suspension exposed the program's deep reliance on foreign technology and cost-precious momentum. Delays rippled through the supply chain, and the setback forced a painful reckoning within China's aviation industry. For Beijing, the lesson was clear. Foreign technology could be cut off at any time, leaving critical national projects exposed. The experience underscored the strategic risks of dependence on overseas suppliers. The urgency to finish the CJ-1000A, China's own jet engine, only grew. Engineers and scientists redoubled their efforts, determined to close the technology gap and secure the country's aviation future. The immediate crisis had been averted, but the strategic imperative for self-sufficiency remained stronger than ever. The episode became a rallying point for China's innovation drive. The temporary truce did not erase the risks. Both sides knew that future disruptions were possible, and the underlying tensions of the tech Cold War persisted beneath the surface. China's leaders responded by doubling down on domestic innovation, pouring resources into research, development, and advanced manufacturing. The goal was clear, to build a resilient, world-class aviation industry. The long-term objective was set, never again be held hostage by foreign technology. For China, the tech Cold War had delivered a wake-up call, and the race for self-reliance had only just begun. Even with U.S. engines flowing and a domestic alternative in the works, China's aviation ambitions face tough challenges. The C919 lacks international certification, barring it from most global markets. Achieving FAA or EAC approval is a complex years-long process. The CJ-1000A engine, while promising, is still far from matching Western reliability and efficiency. For now, airlines prefer the proven LEAP-powered C919 competition is fierce. Airbus is expanding in China, and Boeing remains a major player. The C919's future depends on the CJ-1000A's success. As long as key systems are foreign, the program remains vulnerable to geopolitics. Achieving true self-reliance is a strategic necessity for China's aviation dream. The Dragon has taken flight, and it's determined to build its own wings to soar on its own terms.